Day one, I have thrown cat food and bacon bits on my roof. There they are. Suspicious, but will be my friend. Day two, I have peanuts and cat food. They are nowhere to be found, even though I'm here at the same time of day. I suspect they're trying to figure out if I'm actually serious about this. Hashtag, I'm totally serious about this. Day three of making friends with my crows. I thought I would wait until I heard them till I came out because I thought maybe they didn't like my timing. They have not shown up at all yet today. They don't need me. I remain undaunted. Okay, day four. I'm just fucking, what do I got? Looks like they've been here. All right. Probably would be safer doing this without holding my phone. But I now have peanuts, cat food, and sparklies. I'll keep you posted. Today, I decided I was just going to camp on the roof. There have been no corvids. There have been a lot of other birds. Dog. My daughter. A couple Hello. cats. We're actually having a really good day outside. But no crows. Oh my god, I'm being summoned. I'm actually wearing the shirt. The thing started. Maybe it's magic. Hello? I heard them, came running out, gone. So I gave them three pieces of rotisserie chicken anyway, because I am their bitch. You're welcome. I'm not going to say this pin is magic, but um, it's working. Right there. Hi, love. Guys, you have no idea how close I am. I'm like, like look, this is my hand. It's right there. Do you want some more? Right here, right here, right here. There you go. Oh my gosh, I love you so much. I love you so much. It's been a long time since you've gotten a Raven update, but things have progressed. Look at that. Look at that, we got a baby. I do have for you. <gasps> Super quick raven update. I don't know what they're saying, but I love them. Hi. We haven't had an update recently. It's going very well. I cannot promise that this sweatshirt will summon a murder. You might also need some chicken. But um, I will say that I currently have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 crows waiting for me to get off my roof so that they can come eat the snacks I've left. Support your local murder. Got a murder. right there? Are you right there? I have a colorful Corbin. What you saying? Yeah? Come here. There you are. Hi. She did it, she did it, she did it, she did it. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Hello. Hey, this is a Kim question. I am How building. Dare you. Brianna's gonna answer it. No, okay, no. I'm gonna try, but I'm just you kidding. might not no, be go able ahead, to. Go ahead. I'm building an army of crows. Yes. I have two. Yes. How many do you have, and what are their favorite treats? Oh, so, uh, Fact is, um, I spent my COVID making friends with the crows on my roof. I had two crows, mm, please hold, um, uh, that I was like, fuck this, I need a hobby. Here's another hobby for, my, for COVID. And so I started luring in my friends on the roof. Well, once I got up close to them, I was like, that is not a crow, that is a raven. <laughs> crows are like this big. Ravens are about that big. And getting up close to a bird really illustrates how big their beaks are. But uh, um, to answer your second question, so, so I have one and a half. Uh, I don't know what gender it is, but the other one kind of shows up occasionally. But I've got one that now will actually take food off of my hand. Um, it has to be closed. If it's upward and if I'm looking at them, they won't take it. But if I'm looking aside and my hand is down, they'll grab favorite thing is hard-boiled egg yolks. Don't think about it. <laughs> I t don't, don't, just don't, don't. <laughs> Do not, don't. I'm, ooh, la 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 la. Yes. Oh, I just so, thought about it. Hard-boiled egg yolks. Um, I do know that crows really love peanuts. However, crows also stash treats, and peanuts are such a severe allergy that um, if you have neighbors, you don't know if neighbors may have peanut allergies and they don't want to go out and get in the garden and have a peanut. The second thing I always, always, always recommend, that before you start interfering and fucking around with nature, talk to someone who is a local expert because if you if you are increasing the corvid population and you have an endangered population of other birds corvids eat baby birds corvids eat so make sure always this is for everybody make sure that you are responsible in your interactions with nature because it doesn't do anybody any good to like defeat the very purpose of what we're showing up for so there's my snow white fucking moment for the day so yeah hard boiled eggs and congratulations. Yes. Your army. Uh, Hello. Aspiring murders. 